New tonight, a 15-year-old suspect is set to appear again before a judge after authorities say he killed a 13-year-old girl. Investigators say the victim suffered several stab wounds and was found by a couple of people along a popular walking trail last week in the Powell community. Faith leaders say this shocking crime and the ages of both the suspect and the victim have left that community stunned. 10 News reporter Maria Guzman spoke to a pastor about how the community is working to help its neighbors. From the rolling hills to the autumn leaves of Powell. This is about as tragic as it gets, isn't it? Faith and unity surrounds a community in mourning. Uh, weeping with those who weep concept. First Baptist Church of Powell is one of the several churches in the area, and church leaders say a key part to the community. Perry the Garrett hand, uh, is the lead pastor. It's that we hurt for them. Uh, we hurt deeply for them. I mean, I, I even personally hurt, not simply as a pastor, I hurt as a father. Powell is home to at least 13,000 neighbors. He says in his four years as serving as head pastor, news of the death has rocked his community. Uh, I've seen shock, of course. That's a part of it. I think that's an appropriate response. These things ought to shock us. The 15-year-old teen boy was a student at Paul High School, while the 13-year-old girl attended Paul Middle School. Pastors at First Baptist Church of Powell are in touch with leaders at the schools. Just to say, we're here. We're here if we can support you, if we can come alongside students or families, if there are people who ask questions. He says in the middle of trials and tribulations, the role of the local church is more than a Sunday sermon, but a daily sense of comfort. It is God's chosen instrument for life and for hope and for peace. In a season where the brokenhearted grieve, it's the community's faith that's walking hand in hand with the families. I've heard a number of people that are praying for the families in particular that are immediately impacted by this tragedy. Reporter Maria Guzman joining us now. Maria, the name of the victim is widely known. Yes, John, we do have the name of the victim, but we're not releasing it at this time. We're honoring the family's request. They've asked us to not release the name until after the funeral. John. Maria Guzman with the update tonight.